Maybe you've signed a contract to lease an apartment or buy a car. You may have thought it was clear and both sides understand everything. But what if something is not clear? It's why one couple called Tommy Howard with Patrick Frazier. When you see someone who's opened a new business, you often wonder what gave them the idea. For Manny and Amy, it came at a market in Costa Rica. And they have this huge roaster, and he's got these three cooling bins going at all times. And I'm just thinking, like, why, why can't we do that in Miami? Like, why, why don't we have the opportunity to get really freshly roasted coffees? But to roast their own coffee, they needed a hard-to-find machine like this. And then they heard about a guy on Miami Beach. And, and there's this thing taking up half of the garage. And yeah, we, we just had to buy it. It was just too, too good to be true. Then they needed a small warehouse. She showed me the space, and I walked in and went, this is perfect. That was a year ago. Argyle Coffee was born and is doing well, selling their brand and making special blends of coffee for restaurants and other businesses. It's so fun to come in every day, and it's you're creating. So we're going to start a timer, and we'll start wedding. It was a dream come true for a year, till their lease recently came up for renewal. And then we have the one person that we think would really support us <laughs> Just say, nope. Look at the lease. It says the lessee, meaning the renter, shall have the option to renew for an additional term of 12-36 months at 5%. Manny and Amy wrote a letter opting to renew for 36 months. But their landlord believes the lease gave her the right to pick the length, and she chose to renew them for 12 months. And she wanted the rent increased by 20%. This is the new deal if you want to take it. If not, that's it. Well, Howard, you've read the lease. It says 12-36 months. Both sides say it means a different thing. Legally, what's your opinion? The lease is ambiguous. For example, the 5% increase doesn't say whether it's for one year or for three years. As to the length of the lease, is it three 12-month leases or one 36-month lease? It's not clear, but clearly the tenant has a right to renew. The question is the length and the increases. I spoke to the landlord. Diane Falepa thinks she's completely right. She told me she gave $100 a month off the rent in the first year because they were just starting a new business. She was now restoring the rent to where it should have been, plus the annual increase, or about 20% to get back to where it should have been. When I told her the couple couldn't afford the 20% increase, she said, okay, she would lower it to 5% a year. Ms. Falepa is also convinced the lease lets her renew it for just one year. But after talking to us, she agreed to make it 18 months with that 5% annual increase. Amy and Manny said no, they want 36 months. When Ms. Falepa said no, they sued her. It's now in court. With any contract, read it carefully. If everything is not clear, it's ambiguous. Fix it before you sign it so you don't have legal battles like this. While they battle it out in court, Manny continues to create Argyle Coffee Blends, a business they're both convinced has a great future. Anywhere you go in the world, as soon as a cup of coffee gets put in front of you, you sit down, it's, it's, you wind down, you relax, and it brings people together. Maybe they can pour a great cup of coffee for their landlord to sit down and try to work things out. Because going to court is risky. Whoever loses could have to pay the other side's legal fees. That's why judges send both sides to mediation to see if a mediator can get them to settle. Trouble brewing in your home? Ready for a new lease on life? Sign up with us. Hopefully we can renew your outlook on things. With us, help me, Howard, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.